Legend of the War here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing as Carcassonne, going up against the Bowmen of Orion, uh, which are Wood Elves, where they've got about two full stack armies, and we've got a stack and a bit of cavalry spam, which for Bretonnia can definitely work, but as I've said many times before, going up against the Wood Elves when the odds aren't in your favor has got to be one of the most painful experiences in the game, especially if they're the attacker, which is the case here. Uh, we've been caught in Force March with this army here. His other armies aren't in Force March, which is good. You got some banners not being used here. Might help a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we just need to jump in here and just see what we can do. We definitely need to not control a large army because we don't have that much coming in in reinforcements. And cavalry really benefit from being able to maneuver around the map. And the more en enemy entities there are on the battlefield, the more space they'll take up, and uh, it'll make it more difficult to maneuver around them. Already, if we have a look at this, I don't think this is a particularly large map. It's not a terrible map, uh, but the bigger the map, the better for cavalry, because otherwise you're just forced to like just charge into the enemy, even, even if it's like an unfavorable engagement. But yeah, we'll just see how we go here. Now, when using a cavalry spam, there's an order to which you should try to prioritize taking out the troops. And that's the opposite order to which the enemy will send their troops at you. So you got to take out their fast units first. Actually, they'll, they'll come at us first. That shouldn't be too difficult. It's three cavalry units we've got to worry about there. That's the first priority. Um, getting rid of them will allow us the speed advantage. Then we've got to take out the missile units. And that's going to be the tricky part because all their melee infantry are going to be like rampaging right for us. Um, that's going to be tricky to handle, but we'll see how we go. As for the, um, the Lord here, this one was clearly here as a, um, healer. Uh, but it's not going to be able to keep up with the rest of the army, so what I can do is, every now and again, just bring damaged units over here to, um, to get healed. Okay, Rapunz is coming in. That's great. Actually, I might throw her into the forest here just to begin with. And send a couple of these over here. Because, yeah, what we want to be doing is splitting up their army as much as possible. And the way to do that is to split up your army. There was no way I was going to dodge that. But, yeah, Wood Elves come at you. Like, straight away with no chill. Which is one of the things that make them so difficult to deal with. Because other enemies will like dawdle towards you, but what else don't? I honor my bow. Oh my god, I don't know if these guys are going to make it over there in time. Prepared. Okay, all of our reinforcements that can show up have... Okay, I'm going to put that into control group 1. And this here into control group 2, just so I know which side is which. Alright, then what we gotta do is try to split up their units. Stay back as much as possible. Okay, there are the three cavalry units, that's what we need to be focusing on. But we gotta get them away from the rest of their army. Their, their cavalry is faster than our cavalry, but our cavalry is faster than their infantry by a fair bit. Okay, let's try to run over here. I don't like what they're doing. If this one here leaves the battlefield, that's fine. Swiftly. I don't think they're necessarily going for it, but... Oh, what's going on there? Also, it's on uh, very high battle difficulty, so naturally... They're going to be even more difficult to route. Well, practically impossible. Okay. Yeah, we're getting those volleys of Kurnos sent on us, but they've only got so many of them. Isolated wizard over here, but that wizard's not really that big of a deal, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay, now we're split up, and hopefully what we can try to do is get them to split their forces up as well. Just got to wait and see what happens. Alright, what we'll do is send Rapunz up ahead, because she's got... Let's have a look at her resistance pretty good resistances. The enemy ammunition here, if you have a look at Glade Guard, yeah, they don't have that much ammo. Um, hmm, 
Okay, maybe I can actually get it you. But until they split up their forces, just... I'm not going in at that. Because we, if we just charge in there, we might be able to beat this first army. But you got to keep in mind, they've got a whole second army coming in. Um, it'll wear us out. We've got to thin them out first. So, getting rid of missile units can be one of two ways. You can either get rid of their ammunition. Or, oh god damn it, thing's got long range. Or you can kill them. Now, we've got a few units chasing down over here. This this could work for us. Like I said, it was all about trying to get them separated. We got their attention. Now, draw them back over here. Luckily, the Wood Elves, they use up their ammunition pretty quick. Uh, annoying thing about the heroes, though, is their bloody homing missiles. But then again, we can heal. Okay, get back over that way. They're starting to split up their forces. This is good. But yeah, if those Way Watchers start shooting at our... Oh, hang on, I got another idea. If those Wave Watchers start shooting at our cavalry, that's going to be a problem. Let's screen some of our forces here. Just leave some of them here so that they underestimate how much we've got in the area. And let's just see what they do about that. Can't go charging in on this right now. Got to bring them in a little bit closer. Seems like the Widows are being a little bit skittish about their, their advance. Uh, okay, that's still a fairly large advance there. I don't really like that. Let's keep moving around this way. This is starting to look okay. So like I said, there's three cavalry units that we really need to get rid of. This is one of them. And that one there is anti-large. But if we have like three units dog pile on it, or horse pile on it, um, it should be okay. And that way watch is not doing much. We've also got some war dancers there. That's fine. That's fine. We should be able to handle this. We got a lot of veterans here on that. The thing is, that's just a low tier unit. Uh, then again, we've got a lot of uh, knights errant, which aren't exactly high tier. They also don't have that much armor piercing, and Petronian knights are fairly armored. Okay, I need to repass to keep the uh, the Way Watchers busy there. Don't worry about changing to different formations. But we managed to get a charge in on them without them charging at us. That is awesome. I really couldn't have asked for a better charge on us for us there. Yeah, I got to keep these Way Watchers here busy. I wouldn't have had Repants come and help. I got hit fairly badly there. Good. One unit down. New unit will start coming in soon. And she's she's essentially wiped out the Waywatch unit because their combat stats in melee are not really that good. It all comes down to their missile attack. And because they fire so quickly, you can waste their ammunition really quick. I need to try to get this War Dancer unit over here, but out of the range of the uh, the Waywatchers. Okay, they're starting to send a little bit more over here. That's it, try to get their attention. The Glade Guard aren't that big of a concern. Because the Way Watchers have got all the armor piercing. Okay, just a little bit more ammo on that one. Uh, I've got an isolated unit of Wilded Range. Oh, actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to it in time. These ones here move really quick. Okay. Might be worth it just to go around them there. Okay, we've got these Wild Riders with shields coming in. I think I'm going to need to deal with that. Alright, we've got some isolated missile units. Let's go for it. We've got these guys coming in. Need them to come and help. Try and send... Oh, hang on. Repants might need some help assistance. Nice. 
Go, go, go. Luckily, cavalry is really bad against single entities. Yeah, don't worry about that. Get over here. Okay, don't worry about the um, the way watchers. They're out of ammo, which makes them essentially like a really shit melee infantry unit. Just ignore it now. Okay, we don't even want to be fighting Wild Wild Rangers, but I gotta finish up with this Glade guy. Can we gotta break him at least. Okay, cool. Run, 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 run. No, don't fight them. Okay, that's two cavalry units down. There's still one more to go. It's in there somewhere. No. No, do not want to fight any of that. What is nothing over this way? Okay, that cavalry unit's down. Bring him over here. That unit there is broken, but not shattered, so we need to go back over there and finish it off. Luckily, they ignore their own broken units. And this one over here could use a bit of a heal, so let's bring it over. What level is this, this wizard? doesn't even have life bloom. Piece of shit. Because, yeah, you don't want that rallying. Okay, our groups are a little bit messed up now, but uh, I'll try to reform them up in a bit. Might as well just take them out of this for now. Okay, gotta get at this one over here. We didn't finish the job. So, it looks like they went over there to go and um, collect their reinforcements. But with all of these cavalry here, we should smash the... Uh, the few melee infantry that are out this way because they're isolated. I hope we can get to this one. Luckily, it's just Glade Guard, so they're not doing that much armor piercing. The odd feigned attack can be useful. Bring. Oh, hang on. Can't bring them back to life, but we can heal those that are still living. Alright, this Wildwood Ranger. Yeah, with these guys, you really want to dogpile on them as much as possible. Because of their high damage, you got to kill them quick. Oh, sandwich, motherfucker. <laughs> Throw back to old Legend of Total War. Well, actually, no, no, that would have been young Legend of Total War. It was a long time ago. Um... Cool, that way we took it out before it did that much damage. It still did a fair bit. Okay, come on, come on, get out of there. Okay, War Dancers. That's another squishy unit. It's good they're hanging around over here. Get in to smash this one. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I was gonna go for that, but I think I'll go for these ones over here. We just got. They're just more isolated. So, the whole purpose of like sending 20 units of cavalry to charge one unit of infantry is just to make them break really quickly because what ends up happening is you inflict a leadership penalty that's probably the most devastating leadership penalty in the game called faster stronger enemies nearby it's where you've got such a massive local superiority it causes up to minus 26 leadership which is why i've always said that one-on-one -on -one duels are actually a really shit way to test whether or not a unit is good because if you ever look at it here faster stronger enemies nearby there and then, of course, damage sustained. That's the other more um, affected leadership penalty. It allows you to get rid of a unit very quickly doing this. But the problem is, when you send in a big blob of cavalry, they can have a hard time getting out of it. They just get stuck on each other. Okay, they're starting to get organized again. There's the other cavalry unit. 
Oh, I didn't mean to bring you out. Do we have time to take this out? Yeah, I think we got, I think we got a little bit of time. Get in there. Pants could use another little heal. Okay, another unit of cavalry coming in. We gotta get back. Just don't wanna be fighting it and also getting shot at the same time. Uh, yeah, it came at us pretty hard and fast there. Just gotta lure it a little bit further away and then I can fight it. Probably gonna get a fair bit of damage, you know, if we're not careful. Oh, uh, it kind of backed off. It kind of backed off. We're okay. I gotta get out of here, or else it's gonna give away the position of the uh, the prophetess. Did it do much damage to us? Not really. This possibly still more cavalry still to come, but. Uh, we might have inflicted the army losses by then, if we keep doing a good job. So far, so good. I think, oh, good. They turned around right at the last second there and didn't get the charge off. That one there is going to be a big fucking problem. I can't really do anything about that. It's too quick, too strong. Just, just going to have to suck up the damage from that one. Luckily, it misses every now and again. And if I go charging in there, the rest of their units will kill us. Not too fussed about making the magic super efficient. It's just a, it's, it's just there in this battle. All right, we need to split up again. So let's organize this a little bit. Okay, all knights errant go around this way. You'll be in control group two with Rapance, and everyone else go in this group with him. So isolated, but if I fuck it, no, it's such a bad idea. They don't. He doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want to fight. Get him, just get away. Get away. Yeah, they're too much of an organized group here at the moment. So charging in there would be a bad idea. Having him shoot at Raparts wouldn't be too bad, because there's a chance he'll miss. No, he's going for regular units. At least his shots can only kill one troop at a time. The thing is, if he shoots at Raparts or the other one, they can heal. Alright, a bunch of units just left the battlefield, or are about to, so that means more reinforcements are coming in over this way. Let's head over there and see if we can beat him. Are there still Wildwood Rangers? No. So if you ever look at how much damage he's done so far, it's actually not that much. He's almost out of ammo. Okay, I'm going to leave uh, Rapance here to keep them busy while we head over this way. How tired are I, guys? Not very, that's good. Yeah, having veterancy on your units uh, gives you fatigue resistance. The game doesn't tell you that, but it does. That's why it seems like sometimes the AI cheats in regard to fatigue. It's because they're almost always... Max veterancy. So they cheat in veterancy, which gives them fatigue resistance, but they don't have innate fatigue resistance. Okay, I'm not going to be able to pay that much attention to this in a moment. Okay, probably not going to have enough time to get rid of everything, but these war dancers over here. Anti infantry, great. I don't have any of that.
Okay, we can see that a lot of their missile units um chasing after Rapants. Is that shot going to hit? Yeah, it's... Okay, so it's homing. Okay, that war dancer got fucked. That's nice. A lot of melee infantry over here coming in. We don't want to fight them in the trees. We'll take a uh, pretty hefty debuff in the, in the forest. And even their large units won't take a debuff because they're immune to that. They actually get a buff. Good, we absolutely wiped out that uh, war dancer. That's good. Eternal Guard, that should be pretty easy to deal with. Even though it's anti-large, if we kill it quickly enough, it won't get a chance to hit back. Or what we do is we charge in the Lord, so that they don't get a charge bonus on us. Like, yes, infantry can get a charge bonus on cavalry. Can cannot charge it. But this way, they're neither bracing nor charging at us, and we smash them really quick. We could really use some more heals. We don't have tons of magic though. But this is a good trade off for bounce of power here. I think, yeah, okay, so that lord finally ran out of ammo. That's good. I don't think we're going to get anything more done here. Let's get ready to go. At least these ones here got us a bit of a chance to rest. Alright, nice isolated unit there. Let's go for it. Try to get out of here before we pin to the edge of the map. Yeah, it's not one of the bigger maps in the game. It's sort of a medium-sized map. The bigger the map, the better for cavalry-based armies. You know, if you get like a choke point battle or a really tiny map, you can lose an otherwise very winnable battle. <laughs> with cavalry. This is one of the reasons why cavalry are such a risk to bring. Is because they're so map dependent. Oh god, the past getting fucked here. Oh, I think that one's faster than us. Okay, reinforcements are on the way. You just gotta throw them over here. That's it, get the Knights of the Realm, they're anti-large. There we go. Alright, we're bound to kill him now. Finally, got him. And getting rid of him will cause a pretty hefty leadership debuff on the enemy. Yeah, that anti-large absolutely rips right through him. Don't let him escape. How much damage did he end up doing? Uh, not that much. Yeah, he's their faction leader. Okay. So far, so good. Cool, take out those Glade Runners. Okay, we gotta go over here and uh, get Rapant some healing. Yeah, Rapant has dashed out twice as much damage as that other dude did, even though he used up all of his ammo. Okay, well that gets rid of their, um, their leadership cheats from the battle difficulty. Because if we have a look at it, Right, Lord uh, recently died, but that's going to decay down to 10, and the difficulty modifier plus 10. So eventually it'll just be 10 and 10. As if we're on normal battle difficulty, at least in terms of leadership. Doesn't get rid of all their other melee cheats. Which is another reason why we need to charge in on units one at a time, right? And kill them quickly. Because if we charge into them, they get knocked down to the ground. And then if we kill them quickly enough, they don't get up and fight. Doesn't matter what their stats are, if they their animations don't get a chance to hit. Why it's so important to knock them down. Okay, this is good here. Because most of these units are hidden. They're only sending two units of Wildwood Rangers. We'll easily be able to beat the shit out of that. Very well. Just let them keep coming over this way. 
Okay, with archer units starting to come into the uh, reinforcements, we really need to get over there. Because, yeah, we can kick their ass. Yeah, all the archers are coming in now. I gotta get over there now. Okay, here we go, here we go. Get around. Just send, just send like two of them over there right now. Would have liked a little bit more time for healing, but we've got to make use of this advantage that we've got here. Go, 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 go. go. Don't let this one get in with the main group. See, if you kill them quickly enough, they don't get a chance to fight back, because Wildwood Rangers in a straight-up fight versus Cavalry Unit can definitely beat them, especially on this battle difficulty. Why you gotta kill quickly? Okay, get back around over this way. Okay, these control groups are gonna be pointless now. Nope, that's not gonna work there. See, that's why it's so important to get them where they're isolated. No longer isolated now. Ah, oh, fuck. This one here is going to get wrecked. Get all those fucking archers. At least we go to this one here. There should be more reinforcements coming in in a moment. Yeah, I was just going to charge in there, but I knew it was going to trade really poorly. Here we go. Here's something for you. So what I want to do here is send some of their units out this way. Over here, over here. Good, if we can start taking out their archers as they're coming in, that's going to be really handy. But unfortunately these guys will catch up to us pretty quickly. Okay, if... Guys, all the way over there. If Rapaz can try to keep their archers at bay, that'd be great. Okay, we're not gonna do much here, I think. They're only Glade Guard, but a whole. Oh, God. Shit. Okay, at least we know that there's no more archers coming. <laughs> it's, it's, it's cavalry time. So that means the last of their reinfo. Oh, shit. The last of their reinforcements are on the way. Um, okay, shit, we can beat that, but we've got two things going on at once, which isn't ideal. Especially with restrict camera, it's so fucking annoying. Because you gotta, like, double click to get yourself around the, the fucking map. Go for them. It, get him off the battlefield. I think we traded okay there. Okay, don't worry about those wave watchers. They're just about out of ammo. Go for the ones with ammo. Okay, yep, hang on. Yeah, just go that way. Oh, God, they still got more fucking cavalry coming in. At least we've got the local superiority there, so we're getting them off the battlefield really quickly. Keep her moving. Let's get all these ones here off the battlefield. That's good. Over here. This one over here could use some assistance. Let's get them over here. Don't worry about them. God, that was frantic. I think we traded pretty well against all these cavalry here. That should, I think, be the last of them. Doesn't look like any more reinforcements are coming. Okay, so what we see now is what we've got. This is it. Okay. 
We've got local superiority over here. I reckon we just charge in. Those were plants. Get her over here. Blade guard, not that big of a deal. You can come out. I need to get some heals over here. This cavalry unit here is in real bad shape. Yeah, see, this one over here, it's getting wrecked by the Wildwood Rangers. Absolutely wrecked by it. That's why you got to dog pile multiple units onto one. The cavalry pretty much never win a one on one duel. But then when you send the rest of them in like that, absolutely wrecks them. Okay, get this fucking glade guard out of here. Right, get those ones over here. We'll just hit them up the rear, roll them up. There's that wizard there, but she's not really that much of a threat. Also, don't forget, we've still got reinforcements of our own to come in, but I can't hit withdraw because we're, we're, the main army got caught in force march, as in this one here. Good, he's got them pinned down. I need to hurry up over here. What do you okay, that's a big hit. I think the army losses are going to be triggered any moment now. We've dished out so much damage to them. And while we have taken a fair bit, we've still got reinforcements and that will t uh, be taken into consideration. Oh, I love it when I'm right. I could just feel it that the army losses was coming. I could just feel it was teetering right on the edge there. And then, of course, let none of them live. So, yeah. Bretonia is one of the very few factions in the game that you can cavalry spam with, which is bad unit type, right? And go up against overwhelming odds and still win. The reason why they're able to do it is because they're fast. And they hit relatively hard. The fact that they don't have as much armor as, like, um, Empire Knights, as an example, that doesn't matter in the slightest. It all comes down to big charge bonuses and nice speed. Yeah, the ability to heal them with the Life Wizard helps as well. We're not going to be able to get them all. Just try to get as many as we can. Because, yeah, this doesn't look like the settlement garrison, so you've still got to deal with that. And I kind of get the feeling like you're not going to get any replenishment. I think this guy just made a really aggressive push, thinking that they wouldn't attack him. cleared out as much as we can, and no units got wiped out. Oh, I should probably use this opportunity to heal Rapance. Where are you? Yeah, yeah, get these two together. There's no point healing the cavalry, because they, um, they'll be restored to, oh, never mind. They'll be restored to full health, but the single entities can still be healed. I think it was more important that we focus on running down the enemy units and healing, but I, I should have healed them up a little bit more. Another thing that's a bit of a problem with using a cavalry spam army is that you do need to have reasonably good micro. And a lot of people can just get overwhelmed and um, feel the need to just charge in just because it's a lot easier to do that. 
Yeah, yeah, these units here didn't come into the battlefield. Okay, and let's have a look. You gotta love how they moved in force march and then changed their formation. Changed their stance. Okay, so here's the thing. People look at that income from trade plus 80% and think, Wow, that's huge! But it's only income to tariffs, whereas growth... is always useful. But then again, Bretonia grows really quickly in the first place. Ah, uh, you could always use more money. Extra 300 gold per turn coming for you. Okay. Now, ideally, you just want to auto-resolve this next fight. Devotee of the lady. Oh, did you put it in, like, ambush dance or something? Oh, and we're taking attrition. Even worse. I forbid this dance. So, what you want to do is have this one here besiege the settlement. Sleep. Ugh. You still got a fight on your hands. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm not Attack. doing this one. But I'm just going to get it set for up for you. For the lady. Sorceress. Making my way. And then tell this one to get fucked. Just order resolve should be fine there. May the lady Good. Guide your blade. Uh, probably a bit of extra damage than Freedom we otherwise need to take. And then it does look like you're going to have to fight this battle here Strike manually. Them. Yeah, but you should be able to manage it because this time this army here doesn't have any uh, experience. It'll be a lot easier to beat. Um, highly recommend not controlling large army again. Or what you could do is merge some units. Okay, this map here is pretty good for cavalry because this is one of the bigger maps in the game. Um, it's very hilly, like it's all an uphill battle. Um, but you should be able to maneuver around them fairly easily. You should be able to beat that. Death to the enemy. Anyway, it's up to you how you want to go about it. Um, I'll leave that up to you. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.